Primo Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The currently imposed water restrictions are expected to remain in place for at least a few more months, while drought hit South Africa continues to suffer water shortages. Natasha Urendal tells us more. Despite somewhat decent rainfall in recent weeks, the country faces a long road to recovery that could stretch beyond three years, with the Department of Water and Sanitation only willing to reconsider the restrictions when dam levels reach more sustainable or safe levels. The Vol River system, which comprises 14 dams feeding into Gauteng, is still at critically low water levels. DWS Deputy Director General for Emergency Projects, Trevor Balzar, tells us more. All provinces have had a slight increase in the dam levels, with the exception of the Western Cape, which is still falling. If we then look at the Vaal system, as I've indicated to you, as a result of the rain since the 2nd of um, January, we've gained 395 million cubic meters. And I want to just put that into context with a figure that Sputnik gave me earlier on, where the amount that we released from Stagfontein was in the order of 220 million cubic meters. So we picked up about 100 million cubic meters more than what we had released in Stagfontein in the month of December. So quite, quite significant. And it's exciting, but you must temper that excitement because we're far from being over with restrictions. At best, we would only reconsider when I think the dam, the, the, the system is at around 70%. But we're going to rerun our analysis and to see whether the current inflow match, matches what we had projected for this uh, hydrological year. And in May this year, we then take the real decision around restrictions. So we're still in for the long haul. Uh, we're gonna, we need to intensify our programs. It's gonna be quite difficult to intensify those programs when you see, and it appears to be so wet around us with the rain. But the problem is, is that the system is still very low. Other news making headlines this week, for South Africa recalls Cougar model and organic growth in local companies to boost employment. Ford South Africa has recalled its 1.6 litre Ford Cougar model. About 4,556 vehicles will be affected by the safety recall. We are now announcing a voluntary safety recall for the affected Cougar 1.6. Our investigation has enabled us to narrow the number from the originally stated 6,300 to a total of 4,556 affected vehicles. The safety recall is limited to 1.6 liter Cougars built between December 2012 and February 2014. Other Cougar engine derivatives, including the 1.5 and 2 liter models, are not affected. With this safety recall, all affected vehicles, including those that have already been checked as part of our maintenance check, must be taken to a Ford dealer as soon as possible. Amid the country's rising unemployment rate, 83% of South African CEOs are confident about their company's prospects for revenue growth over the next year, which will result in an increase in headcount. High unemployment uh, continues to be a thorn in the side of, of our country, of South Africa. Uh, at almost 27%, uh, one can really uh, see that it's almost a, a ticking time bomb that we are sitting on in this country. If we don't lower that um, um, unemployment rate, uh, certainly it, it does not bode well for future economic growth um, of, of our country. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.